Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and in this video we're going to take a look at the PC big box game Wasteland and this is an all-time classic. Came out in 1987 and it's the first or at least the first game that I know of that's set in a post-nuclear uh, America and it's a big influence to games like Fallout. So as you can see the big box is kind of flimsy, has some dents uh, everywhere, it's not in superb condition but hey, took me a long time to find it. The game is set in 2087, World War 3 has come and gone and as a desert ranger you're vowed to ha re help rebuild humanity. But first you have to survive. Um, the thing is this is a very very old RPG and when I was a kid I wasn't in RPGs because it was just too hard for me. Um, I couldn't get the hang of it. Adventure games I loved it but real RPGs I was simply too young uh, to understand them and know how to play them. Um, the game has a lot of combat, a lot of skills you can train and it also has a lot of different enemies you can uh, find. And as the box says, a cast of hundreds, everyone wants to meet you most in the worst, worst possible way. So, um, this game is made by uh, the guys that also made the Bard's Tale, so these are e those are even older. And as you can see, it's uh, capable to be played on most PC home formats. Uh, among them the IBM of course, but also the AT and the Tandy. It's sort of a flip cover style big box and on the left side you see a really strange picture which what I believe is the, the crew that made this game. Um, they're all in like medieval gear but then cowboy styled. So they probably uh, made this picture in the style of the game which is a uh, yeah, nice little touch they did. Um, and the thing is, they have a little text about the about the development team. Believed dead until this recent photographic evidence came to light, this motley gang of desert rangers was last spotted leaving the remains of a burning computer installation. Sources report their two-year absence had something to do with the development of a computer game named Wasteland. So, that's pretty cool. Um, there's, of course, the summary card that comes with every old PC big box game. And it's, yeah, it's, it's your basic manual. It has the most important parts of the game, how to set it up, how to install it. And um, I love that these old games come with the notion that you should not use the actual games that came with the, the discs that came with the game, but you should make copies. Yeah, the game asks you or tells you to make copies of the game. Um, there's also a lot of information about what controls you can use, how to save the game, how to uh, load new sections and how to give different uh, commands. For instance, when your weapon jams, when your weapon uh, uh, doesn't reload, etc, etc. Um, like I said, I wasn't into these games as a kid and I don't have nostalgic value here. So I I'm not going to play this game, but it looks really complicated and really... Uh, uh, really complex for an old game like that. Uh, you could also order a clue book which has a lot of story to it and it just says not just a boring how-to book. So, and this is a little leaflet that really got me laughing because um, it talks about how we as innovators that have a three and a half inch floppy disk drive can't find software for that format so uh, you can trade in your three uh, 5.25 inch floppies for three and a half inch floppies which is really cool. Uh, calling people that have a three and a half inch floppy drive uh, innovators really shows how old this game is. So this is uh, this is like the story guide and I, I hadn't seen this before it's called the paragraphs and uh, what it does is the game gives you a notion uh, to look at a certain paragraph in the book and that paragraph has some backstory on that portion of the game. So for instance if I flip it open somewhere it says the Guardians, as you've heard, are very friendly people who are great admirers of the Rangers. They have planted fluorescent orange flasks to mark the outer edge of their minefield. So it gives you, uh, yeah, like a backstory of the current section you're in. This is the regular manual. Um, it has uh, basically the same as the first small manual I showed you, but just more, uh, more in depth and more information about. Uh, the game uh, factors like uh, for instance IQ and your different skills. Um, it's fun to see that you need a certain IQ to uh, use a certain skill which is um, 
I think it's 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 a good thing. If you're like in real life, if you have IQ of 50, you probably can't use a rocket. Um, not sure if that's a good example, but uh, you know what I mean. Um, for the rest, the manual has some more information on the crew you're with. Uh, Snake Fargus, I believe, is the main character, or at least one of the main characters. Um, kind of reminded me of Metal Gear and Escape from LA. Uh, so these are the two discs, 5.25 inch floppies, and um, I'm not sure if these will work anymore. It's not like I'm going to try them. I purely have this for... Uh, for the, yeah, not nostalgic, but for the retro value and the value this game has in gaming history. But um, they look kind of bent. So that was it. Wasteland for the PC. Quite hard to find. Legendary game. And I'm very happy to finally have it in my collection. I hope you guys liked watching this. If you did, check out my other videos in the channel. Of course, subscribe and like me on facebook.com slash drretromd. See you next time. Bye bye.